How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we got subtitles today. <laughs> I was finally able to figure out how to have subtitles on my video so now I can speak in English and translate it to Spanish or puedo hablar en español si los traduzco en inglés. It was highly requested, you know, like if I did a video in Spanish, people would ask for English subtitles. If I did an English uh, video, people would ask for Spanish subtitles. And finally, I am able to have subtitles to my videos so everyone can watch my videos. Drop a like for that. You gotta drop a like for that. Come on now. Today, I'm doing something different. I've never done this kind of tattoo before, so uh, I'm nervous, but the good kind. I'm excited. With that being said, let's get this day started. Today, we're gonna be doing something different. The project that we got going on today is this face here is gonna have a whole bunch of contrast, a whole bunch of texture. It has a lot of, you know, hint of color. The purpose of this video is gonna be focusing on how to execute this part of the face, which is gonna be the eyelashes, the eyelids, the eyebrows, the contrast on it, the little textures, the wrinkles under the, the, the eye. You know, so that's gonna be what I'm gonna be focusing on. And the second part that I'm gonna be focusing on is the, the color itself. So I am stepping out of my comfort zone today to deliver a different kind of tattoo. And uh, so yeah, I mean, the whole point of this video is to teach you guys to not be scared to try different things. One thing I am gonna say that there is a big difference between practicing how to tattoo and another to you already know how to tattoo and you are trying to step out of what you usually do and push yourself to try something different because how can we grow as an artist if we're not trying anything new we can't just be stuck into the same style on a daily basis we have to be able to step out and try different things and we're going to do this together you know because i mean when it comes down to doing these little areas here you see the little pores you have different tones of red to orange to yellow so there's so much going on that I am uh, interested in seeing how I'm gonna execute it but um, I'm gonna execute it the way I feel like it's supposed to be executed uh, I'm pretty sure that if somebody specializes in color you're more than welcome to give me your point of view and and you're more than welcome to tell me what I did wrong how can I improve my uh, my techniques in color and if you have any any tips on how to apply it or how to blend it or what tones to use, you know, or what colors to use, any brands, any needles, you know. So you're more than welcome to give us your opinion if you specialize in color and so we can all learn uh, together. Uh, so yeah, so let's get this day started and I'm gonna uh, get this stencil ready. So after doing the whole stencil, now I'm ready to apply it. I'm gonna go for the outer form here. My approach is for the face to land in the middle. That way the face doesn't get distorted, it doesn't get stretched out. For the whole entire face, I'm gonna use a seven round liner. Mikey, the seven round liner that you uh, gave me, what is that? Is that a bug pin or a long taper? What is oh, it? That's the, uh, long, yeah, it's the long taper. It's that big long taper? Set. Sick. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a seven round liner long taper by Big Sleeps brand. There you go. And yeah, I'm gonna do the whole entire thing with that same size needle. Promo. <laughs> yeah. So this is how much tensile I'm putting on my hands. It's not, a, it's not a lot. And like I mentioned in every single video, just go at it. Don't be scared. Just put it on the skin. There you go. 
Naja, satisfying, satisfying, okay, das ist Oh! <lacht> okay, da. Yes! <lacht> See what happens, let's learn. We're gonna learn something today, bro. We're gonna learn today. <lacht> let's get it. So now that we are now on the eye area, we're gonna go in depth on how I would execute this part of the face. My voltage is at 5.0. Here we go. Uh, I'm not gonna be feathering anything anything on this on this area because I'm using the opaque grays uh, and I want to make sure that every detail that I put in in this small area stays and it heals properly Boom. super smooth now my reference does not have a glare on the eye but I'm still gonna add one because I feel like it's fundamental to making the eye look glossy you know what I mean I'm gonna do a glare here and a long one here. And slowly. I'm gonna go with my medium tone. And right under that eyelid, I'm gonna add a shadow to give it that dimension. Yeah, so now I'm gonna move on to the Eyelid on the top here, going with solid black, boom, sass. Start incorporating a little bit of this black onto the eyelid and start giving it that dimension. Now this area, I'm pretty much just doing like little dots. That way later when I apply my lightest, my lightest gray is gonna mix right in and it's gonna make this black lighter into like a medium tone. Same thing here, doing a little bit of that technique that I show on, on other videos where I do little swirls everywhere, dots, X's. So now we go in into this line here. Boom. Another line here. This is my favorite part about the eye. The little the little wrinkles on the bottom of the eye. And slowly doing it. See that? I'm gonna use my solid black to go back in this area. And start incorporating a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go ahead and finish all the black and start recording once I'm about to apply the gray tones so you guys can see how everything's gonna blend in together so now let's go back in it with my medium tone here start packing it what I'm not doing 
I'm not feathering. This is not what I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna be packing like this. That way I make sure that details stay. Personally, I like to pack it in. To, that way it gives me reassurance that that's gonna stay exactly how it looks. I'm going with my medium tone, my medium gray uh, tone. Go on top of that black, like I mentioned earlier. That way that black is gonna help me out to create more of a dimension and texture right underneath that gray tone. Here on this line of this black, I'm gonna start right behind that with a gray tone and start blending it out. Perfect, and then I'm gonna dip it in my lightest uh, gray. And right behind that gray, start doing my lighter tone. Boom. Another quick layer. Boom. The black is already helping me to create texture, so I don't need to worry about that with this part of the process. Start doing the same thing. Little circles, little X's, swirls, whatever you want to do. <laughs> hitch hatch. What is that what it is? <laughs> Hitch hatch. Cross hatch? Cross hatch. Hitch hatch. Cross hatch. Like wild, wild style, bro. Wild style. Boom. But it is like X's and O's. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, do it. There you go. Start right here and start fading it out. But still be packing. Boom. Make sure that you are packing. There it is. And then to create that glowing effect, uh, dip it in your lightest gray and finish it off right behind that and then fade out. Packing, packing, bro. All day. I'm gonna go back into my. Uh, solid black and just start doing little dots so I went from my lightest gray to solid black and it gave me like a medium kind of tone yeah. and now I'm just gonna make sure that it's solid black now and just go in here and pack it boom going right here There you go. Now let's continue with this piece.
the part that we have been waiting for, the color. Now the way I'm gonna be approaching this is I'm gonna treat it like if it's my gray tones because I feel like gray, uh, gray tones and color are very similar. It's the same thing, you gotta pack it. And uh, so I'm gonna treat it the same way. I'm gonna start with my darkest to my lightest. And um, I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it. Executing this the way I feel like it's gonna work out for me and the way I'm gonna feel comfortable and the way I'm seeing it. Like I said, if you are a tattoo artist that specializes in color, feel free to drop some knowledge on us. We are ready to learn. Let's all learn together and let's get the color started. I'm gonna begin by mixing my brown with my darkest red to create different tones for this specific area. There's areas here that I want them to be more red than brown and vice versa. My thought process is that I'm gonna work from my darkest to my lightest, something that I would do with my gray tones. With that being said, I'm also using the same technique that I use to create texture. Using my 7 round liner with my voltage at 5.0 is allowing me to move slow, take my time, and really make sure that I like what I'm seeing. And as you can see on this area, I decided to dip it in my brown more than my red because I want a darker tone for that cheek area. And here I'm slowly transitioning back to my darkest red. Now that I have my first layer, I'm ready to apply my brightest red, which is lipstick red. And just what I did with the eye, I am over layering the texture with my brightest tone. Notice that in between the texture, I'm also leaving gaps and in those gaps, I'm gonna be adding the orange and yellows. Once again, I clean my needle to start applying my orange and what I'm actually going to be doing with the orange is I'm going to start doing small little circles and dots all over the texture and over layer my brightest red. Now on the few gaps that I have left, I'm ready to apply my yellow. I'm really satisfied on how I executed the first stripe of the face, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the face and show you guys the finished product. 
There is no words that can describe how excited and motivated I was to do this tattoo. I woke up super excited, super happy, and that's what's all about, you know. Uh, this industry is full of styles that I feel like it's only right to explore as much as you can in this industry. For me, personally, I like to push myself and see what else I can do with my career, you know. So uh, this video was to for all of us to learn. Everyone is welcome in the comments. Drop your knowledge. If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to ask a question, I want everybody to become a community in this channel and be able to share your thoughts without being judged, you know, because we are all artists. We're in the same industry and uh, we want everybody to learn. And if you're also a client, this can help a lot for you to choose your next tattoo. Be more wise on what to pick for your next tattoo. All right, I'm talking too much. Relax. I'm talking too much. So I'm just gonna show you guys the way this tattoo turned out. And if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. I'll catch you guys next week and have a beautiful weekend. Peace.